good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is our second upload of the day. If you guys missed our Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix, not Ray Phoenix, Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. review from earlier this morning, definitely go check that out, guys, because today we're going to get into our last two figures to review. we got Adam Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes to review, and we are also going to rank this full set from worst to best in my own personal opinion, giving you guys my ranking of the full set and, of course, reviewing Adam Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes. But if you guys missed out on any of the other reviews from this set, definitely go check it out. AEW Series 2 was a pretty epic set, I would say. And I would also say that Series 3 was a banger and Series 1. I, I can't wait to see 4 and 5 and 6. And I think even in the next couple days, it may even be today. We don't know just yet. But we could see new images of AEW Series number 4. So that's another thing. Jeremy said on Twitter last night that he would be posting them very soon. So once those go up and we find out the wave and everything, we will be putting them up on the channel and reviewing them in a commentary audio style. If you guys would like to pre-order any of Series 2 or 3 or 4 or 8 or 12, the rest of those are not up. But 2, 3, and maybe 1 are all up for pre-order over Ringside Collectibles. Guys, go over there at WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I would really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Show your support that way. I'd really appreciate it. But go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Check out all of their epic deals on not just AEW figures, but WWE figures, of course. But let's dive into this review guys and find out where these figures are going to rank in AEW Unrivaled Collection series number two. So get these sons of bitches out of the way and let's get started. So getting into Adam Hangman Page guys and Dustin Rhodes, you got your front viewing window pretty vanilla, you know, there's nothing too crazy going on with these guys as far as that is concerned. On the right side, you got the AEW, you got their names in solid gold right there. I really love their packaging, bro, the, like the classic Jax looking packaging. You have the AEW Dynamite attire over here, AEW All Out for Adam Hangman Page, rest of the figures in the way which we've already reviewed. On the other side, you got the AEW logo, gold foil at the top, along with two images of the talent right there. And that pretty much does it for our packaging, ladies and gentlemen. So let's shut the hell up and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here's Adam Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes out of the packaging. Guys, kind of like Phoenix and Pentagon, they don't really have a ton of accessories. Dustin over here has absolutely nothing, so we don't have to cover his accessories whatsoever. However, Hangman Page does have accessories, so I guess what we can do is just dive into Dustin, and then we will get through his comparisons and stuff, and then we will dump into Adam Hangman Page's accessories and then cover his figure and his comparisons. So let's go ahead and dive into Dustin himself. Comparisons, you heard what I just said. F it, let's roll with it. It. So getting into Dustin Rhodes, guys, this head sculpt is pretty much, I mean, it's not the exact same because it's not bloody as shit, but it's basically the same head sculpt we got on his bloody, you know, his Blood Brothers 2-pack from ringside. You guys know what I'm talking about. The, the Cody Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes 2-pack, the Blood Brothers that we got from ringside. That is pretty much what this figure is, except it's repainted, but I like the head sculpt. I like what we got going on. The likeness is there. I think they did a good job on the face paint and stuff. Maybe the left eye is a little bit off-center compared to the right. You guys see what I'm saying? They're not completely even, but... Maybe that's accurate. I'm not entirely sure. Going down into the torso, you got this nice singlet, or it's like a bodysuit pretty much that goes from the neck all the way down to the boots. Got all his, like, dragon detail or scale detail going on right here. The zipper is painted nicely. All the tattoo detail going down the arms. You got the white wrist tape instead of the red wrist tape that we got on his Blood Brothers 2-pack. You got the black and red gloves, which look really, really good. On the back, you got natural Dustin Rhodes going down there. All of the tattoos, like we said. Into the legs, you do get the nice same red scaly pattern with the silver dry brush or silver details going around. So all of that looks good. Hopefully my leg doesn't snap in half like it did in that Blood Brothers 2-pack, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. It literally, that was a freak accident. I know it was, but that was that was pretty crappy how, the, how you know, how that all played out. But the Dustin Rhodes figure is looking good. I'm glad that, you know, I have a variant of this in the official one that's not bloodied up. That way, you know, I can have one that's not bloodied up, so that's really nice to see. But after the bodysuit, guys, it goes down into the black boots that have the long horn over here and then it has the little movie filming camera or the camera on that side so that's pretty cool I like how it pays homage to his other gimmicks and you know where he's from and stuff like that so that, that's pretty epic but that is pretty much Dustin Rhodes man not much to say about it let's go ahead and get into some quick articulation real quick he can look down a little bit he can look up pretty good ab crunch I found with Dustin is not the best like I guess it's just this bodysuit mold just you know he, he can he can lean forward a little yeah it just pops off every time 
time I try and get him like deeper into that, but he does have ball joints so he can do the splitsy witsies, upper thigh cut, he has the double jointed knees, boot rotation, and ankle pivot, which is nice to see, and of course you guys know he does have the ratchet joints and he has the double jointed arms right there, which are beautiful to see as well, but I've just found that his torso or his ab crunch is just not as good as other figures, but you know, it is what it is, man. And then for your Dustin Rhodes figure comparisons, guys, here's the Blood Brothers 2-pack from ringside that is slightly different. Of course, you have all the blood patterns. You have a little bit different design here that's not as scales as much. Again, you got the red wrist tape instead of the white, and both of his gloves do have red on them on this figure, or actually, no, it's the opposite. So the left glove has red on it, and then the right glove does not, which is opposite of this one. And boots are the same. Everything else is pretty much the same. Head sculpt, of course, does have the hair. You know, the face is bloodied up on this one. It's losing most of the paint and everything like that, but there is your Dustin Rhodes figure comparison. And then here is John Moxley and Cody Rhodes up next to the Dustin figure. And you guys can see how much this one towers over it. I think I do need to adjust the height a little bit like I'm going to do with this John Moxley. Just a little, not a ton, but I am going to adjust it just a little bit because I think he does kind of tower over him. But if you guys wanted to see what the new Cody looked like up next to the Dustin Rhodes, here is a good comparison to see how these guys kind of scale with each other. So getting into Adam Hangman Page's accessories, guys, he comes with a little bit, you know, compared to Dustin for sure. But let's start off with his entrance vest that he comes with. He the nice details going on on the collar right there across the shoulders here that has kind of just, you know, like a cowboy slash western pattern. This is from his all-out match. So Chicago, Illinois 2019. This is pretty accurate. I feel like it was more like goldy, but you know, it is what it is. On the back, it does say Hangman Adam Pays with the horse decal right there and the nice western, again, little design pattern going on. I like it. It kind of feels like a jacks vest, like the rubber that they use for this kind of feels kind of jacksy. You know what I'm saying? It has like a soft rubber. It comes off really easy and stuff like that. Uh, next up, we have an interchangeable hand that is the shooter hand. Gotta have a shooter hand right there, and it is in a nice skin tone, so I'm sure when we get Kenny Omega, he's gonna come with an updated skin tone hand as well, but I guess you could use this for that if you guys wanted to. And then we do have his bandana accessory that looks really good. You got a skull right there. It's got the nice pattern going all the way around, and the way you get this off the figure is you do have to pop the head off and then slide this off. So if you wanted to put it back on, you'd have to pop the head off, put it over the peg, and then pop the head back on because you guys know the AEW figures don't need any heat or anything and just pop the head straight off. And then he does come with his rope that he wears around his neck during his entrance. So that is pretty cool. They don't call him Hangman for nothing, you know? They hang you from the ceiling, Brad. But the only thing I don't like about this is when you put it on the figure, it like stiffens up right here. So like, it's not like it lays flat. Like, so I, I don't like that it lifts up right there. So I don't know how, you know, it's, it's supposed to go. But even if you put it under the hair, what if you put it under the hair maybe? Yeah, still not really feeling it. Unless you put his arms in front of it or something, it will not just hang down, so that is something to take note of, but that pretty much does it for Adam Hangman Page's accessories, guys. So let's move into Adam Hangman Page himself. So getting into Hangman Page, guys, starting off with the head sculpt, I actually like this head sculpt. The only thing I don't really like about it is it maybe the details could be a little bit better, but I think the lightness is totally there. I also think that the hair could be darker. I think it's a little bit too blonde, maybe. I feel like maybe darkening it up a little bit or giving it like a dark wash would look better, but I like the facial hair. I like the grimacing expression and everything. It looks good. I like it. I'm not going to complain about it. I like the torso mold they used here. I don't know why, but I felt like Adam Hangman Page is supposed to be like 6'3", but apparently he's six foot even, which totally kind of blows my mind. He just kind of looks like he's 6'3 or 6'4". Am I tripping? Did you guys think the same thing? I don't know, but down below, he does have the right elbow pad here. He's got his black wrist tape. He's got sort of his like Drew McIntyre kind of trunks going on with the little silver going around the whole thing. You got Hangman right there on the butt in the silver, just your standard black trunks like Hangman likes to wear. Everything looks good like that. Going down into the knee pads, you do get the nice little bandana slash western designs on the knee pads, which we love to see. They are on the outcast there. These are a new knee pad mold. I think, I don't think we've seen this knee pad mold before unless, you know, I'm tripping or something, but I'm pretty sure this is a more of a newer knee pad mold. His boots look good with these little designs on them. The only thing that is crazy about this figure are these damn clown feet, Brad. Look how, like, you can't really tell up close, but look how damn, like, clown feet this is, man. Like, this dude has massive feet. Straight up massive feet. We're gonna have to change these out for sure. Like, Jesus Christ, man. These are, like, look at that. That is clown feet. This man has clown feet. No doubt about it. I don't have any butts. That, that is clown feet. So we're definitely going to have to switch that out at some point or another on surgery or something like that. I think there is a little fig hack you can use. But as far as articulation, he can't look that much up because of his hair. He can look down a pretty good amount, I would
would say Ab Crunch is pretty, yeah, it's pretty solid. I like it. I think it does pretty well right there. He can go back, of course, as well. Get the little diaphragm shift there. Ratchet joints here. 360 bicep swivel. Double jointed arms, which you love to see, so you can drink his drinks. You got the ball joints there. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees, and he does have boot rotation as well as the ankle pivot there. So Adam Hangman Page fits the vibe check. He's got the boot rotation, except for his dumbass clown feet and everything like that. I think, you know, he's cooking with peanut oil right there. But that pretty much does it for your Adam Hangman figure page. He, he, whatever the hell I just said. Himself. And then for your Adam Hangman page figure comparisons, guys, we have him up next to the rest of the Elite with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. You have the Series 1 Kenny. You got the Series 2 Adam Hangman Page, and then you have the Series 3 Bucks over here and the updated skin tones and everything. All we need now to complete is our AEW Kenny Omega just updated, man. We just need that updated skin tone and the world will be right and everything will be perfect, so uh, that's all we need, man. Just give me an updated Kenny Omega, man. Just need an updated Kenny Omega head sculpt. Give me an updated Kenny Omega skin tone and everything. If this figure looked how it did in the promo images a year ago or wherever when we saw Series 2 on display, you guys know what I'm talking about, that promo prototype with the with how the figure was supposed to be oh god it would still be the best figure they've ever made unfortunately that's not what we got but hopefully series four will feature another kenny omega that's what i'm hoping i hope we get another kenny in this updated series and hopefully that will be the case with series four but that does it for your adam hangman page figure comparisons all right, guys, it's that time of the video where we rank Elite Series, not Elite Series. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where we rank AEW and Rival Collection Series number two from worst to best, in my own personal opinion, MDT's ranking of Series two. Now, you guys know how these rules work, how the, you know, what the criteria is. I'm going to let you know what the criteria is for the ranking as well as these rules of the ranking or just these things that I like to say here just to, to iterate it. Just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean the figure doesn't have any redeeming qualities whatsoever. And just because the figure is number one doesn't mean that it doesn't have any flaws whatsoever and it's just the greatest figure since sliced bread. With that being said, let's get into the criteria of the ranking. Excitement level for the figure, posability, how it feels in the hand, accuracy, accessories, likeness, all of that good stuff goes into it. How much usage am I going to go into it? Excitement level is probably one of the bigger factors for me, to be honest, and feel good in the hand. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Getting into the bottom of the ranking, let's start things off with good old Dusty. Dustin Rhodes. Now, it's nothing against Dustin here. I just wasn't that excited for it. I think the big deal with it was that I already own the Blood Brothers 2-pack of the Dustin, which is the bloody version. And I also think that he's freakishly tall, and I don't like the ab crunch that much. I just feel like he's kind of stiffy-lippy in the ab crunch area, and I don't know. I, I like the way the figure feels in the hand. I like Dustin Rhodes and everything. I just am, you know, it just it's the worst in the set, in my opinion. Now, coming in at the, now coming into the 5 ranking, this one was kind of difficult for me, to be honest with you, but I think at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Adam Hangman Page. Now, I love Adam Hangman Page, but I think the clown shoes really does it for me. I, I don't like that the rope can't just hang over his neck, and I don't know. Just overall, I, I think it could be a little bit better, and I love Adam Hangman Page again, but I think the uh, the next figure really just barely slightly beat this one out, so I'm going to go with Adam Hangman Page at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, I'm going to go with Ray Phoenix. Now, Ray Phoenix, I love. I think he's great in the ring and everything. I love his mask and everything, but the lack of accessories and everything like that. I like Pentagon more than Ray Phoenix and I also think that I don't know, it just the lack of accessories and just overall, overall excitement level for the figure wasn't as high as the other three in the set so I have him coming in at four. I think he's better than Hangman and Dustin Rhodes but just wasn't enough to get him higher in the ranking. Coming in at the number three spot is going to be Maxwell Jacob Friedman. MJF coming in at the number three spot. I like MJF a lot. I'm excited to have him in the collection finally and everything like that. I like the scarf with it. I think overall he's a really poseable figure. He feels good in the hand. I can't wait to make a suited MJF figure as well out of my second one. So we're going to get some coolness out of this. I wish I had the Chase variant with the pink attire. I really really want that figure. So hopefully we can do that. I guess if I can't find it, maybe we'll just have to customize it or something. I'm not sure but I like MJF. I like this figure. Feels good in the hand as well. And I like the specific, you know, mic holding hand. I like that a lot. So there you go. MJF at number three. And the last two figures in the ranking, guys. Is it any surprise we have John Moxley and Pentagon Jr. coming in at the last two spots and for me I'm gonna go with Pentagon at number two and Moxley at number one I love the Pentagon figure again I love the details and the sculpts and the mask 
mask and the overall obviously this figure is probably more exciting and you know it's got more going for it but overall I was just so hyped for the John Moxley figure and I know his height's a little bit bothersome but I'm gonna fix it and it's just I was just hyped to have a John Moxley man I've been wanting a John Moxley the official John Moxley for so damn long and I cannot wait to finally you know get him fixed up and everything but having him in the collection is just a dream come true and I just love John Moxley and I love this figure so I had to put him at the number one but Pentagon was so close to winning the number one spot but it wasn't enough for me Brad so here's our recap we got John Moxley number one Pentagon Jr. number two Maxwell Jacob Freeman at number three we got Phoenix coming in at number four we got hey Hangman Football Page at number five and then we got Dusty Busty Rhodes coming in at the bottom of the ranking. Overall guys if you'd like to pre-order any of this set you can do so at Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Do not miss out on all of the sales they got going on but before we get out of here guys out of our ranking and out of our review of Adam Hangman Page and Dustin Rhodes let's get into our shout out which is going to go to Mark Curry who says MDT you might think Rio is number one of the set. Me, you crossed the line. Talking about how garbage Rio is from AEW series number three. But yeah, he says you might think Rio is number one because I did say Rio. It looks like he says Rhino right there, but he, he left the N out and he, he misplaced the I and the H. He even edited the comment and still didn't fix that, but that's all right. But nonetheless, shout out to Mark Curry for that, man. I guess if you put Rio at the top of the set, you would be crossing the line because there's no way that's better than the rest of the set. Everybody has their opinion, bro. Brad. But I they think that's going to do it for me, man. I need to get some freaking football sleep, so I'm going to go hit the hay and get the hay out of here, Brad. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what your ranking is of AEW Series number 2 down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Don't cross the line, Brad. You cross the line.